So the first thing we'll have to do for us to record a video is to create a launcher that will create an intent to take a video using the inbuilt camera app. So what we have to do is just come below the set content and create a variable called record video launcher and it's going to be a launcher activity result so create a remember launcher for activity results so it's going to take in a contract and for us we want to capture a video so just come here and say activity result contracts dot capture video and that's all we'll have to do and in the next line it takes in an on result so this on result will allow us to know if the process of taking a video is a success or not so come here and say success so it's return of a boolean here called success this will allow us to know if it's a success or not and let's create a toast here and this will tell us if it's a success or not and check in a context and if it's a success so is success and it will take in the variable if it's a success or not then the next thing is uh how long should the toast show so length dot short dot show and that's all we'll have to do so we have to call this launcher when a button is clicked to maybe record a video or in any instance that you have so what we have to do is just come um, down below here so you have a button here so these are just the two buttons to record a video and to play a video so the record video button this is where we're going to call this um, record video launcher for us to create an intent to record a video and come back with the result if it's a success or not so down below here just call record video launcher dot launch and this launch takes in the uri where this file is saved so what we have to do is first create a temporary file then from that temporary file we want to get the uri where this file is saved so let's do that so just quickly come here and create a new kotlin file called file util and we are going to create an extension function that will allow us to create a file a temporary file where this this video will be saved so it's quite simple just create a function here called an extension function that will take in the context and it will call create video file and it's going to take in the file let's import our context here and let's import our file here and we want to make each file unique and for us to do that we have to use the timestamp so let's get the timestamp when the file is created for each video Video. just say simple date format taking um, our custom pattern so the pattern which you want the timestamp to be in then call local dot get so based on the local we want to do that so just say local dot get default then after that just say format it to the date current date and that's it next thing we want to create um, a directory where this uh, file will be saved so for us we want to save this video file in the directories dot movie so just say this dot get external directories and there are different directories where you can save this video so let's just say environment dot directory dot movies for my case i decided to do this because it makes sense because movies are always videos in video format so it makes sense uh, for you to do that but there are also other formats like uh, you can save it in the directory pictures but uh, it doesn't make sense because um, the, it makes sense to have pictures only in these directories but there's there's also another environment uh, you can save it in and that is the directory dot recordings but this is only available in uh, api level 31 and above so i decided to go with the movies in this case cool um then the next thing now let's create this uh temporary file where this video will be saved in so just come here and say return and say file dot create temporary file and you have to provide the suffix and the prefix and the directory where this file will be saved so just come here and say uh video and paste in the timestamp we created there and yeah so you can put any prefix that 
suits your need and the format of this file will be uh, mp4 since you are saving videos and passing the environment and the directory where this uh, video will be saved in and that's all you'll have to do for you to create a temporary file where this uh, video will be saved so let's come back and we want to create a variable called video file here so come here and create a variable called video file it's going to be mutable since uh, we want to put in the created file so just come here and say remember and import the remember one and it's going to be a mutable state of nullable file so mutable state of then make sure to import the file um, import the mutable state of import the set value and the get also and yeah so that's it and the next thing you have to do is that uh, before calling dot launch you want to get the file where this video will be saved so just come here and say video file and just call uh, this so the context which is in our main activity and just say create video file and it will return you the file where the temporary file where this video will be saved to so the reason we are um, hoisting this uh, video file here is that we we are going to use it in different scenarios so we want to save it at the topmost level so we can be able to also get our uri of this file cool and uh, that's all we have to do then the next thing is that uh, we haven't gotten the uri of of this video so for you to do that it's uh, quite simple we want to also create an extension function that will get the uri of this video file that we've just created here so what we have to do is come here down below and let's create an extension function that will take in a file and get its uri it's going to take in the context and it's going to return the uri of this file and that's it then inside here we want to get the uri of the file it's quite simple let's just come here and say return and say file provider so file provider and say get uri for file and it takes only three things the context which we've just provided there and we want to get the package where this um, file is stored so for you to get the package just say context dot application context then the package name which is just the package name of the app and it must end with the file provider suffix so just come here and say plus dot file provider and lastly just put in the file which you want to get the uri for and basically that's all you have to do come back to your main activity and we want to also create a, a variable called video uri so the reason i'm also hoisting this is because when we reach the point of playing this uh, video we have to provide the uri so this will be a convenient way for us to save the uri of the video and also retrieve it since it's hoisted at the top most of this class so just come here and say by remember since we want to also set and get this so just come here and say mutable state of which is just the uri and it's nullable by default and yeah basically that's all you have to do so the next thing similar to what we did we have to set the video uri here so just come here and say video file since we have already provided the video file here we use also the video file variable and say if it's not null get the uri and pass in the context since we are in a, an activity just say this main activity and that's all you have to do then pass in the video uri here and yeah basically that's all you have to do but before we run the app and see what we have done so far let's come to a manifest and there's something we have to provide here so just down below the activity so just come here and say provider and since you are using a file provider here for getting the uri of the file we have to allow the app to know that we are using this file provider so just quickly come here and say android name and just say file provider there and the authority you have to provide the 
package name so just provide the package name of your app so come to your build or gradle app and what you have in your, here as your namespace just come here and copy this and paste it here but it must end with the file provider here exported should be false and grant your right permission should be true as it is here then uh, metadata it remains the same but we have to provide the file path so for you to provide that just come here and create a file path and the root element for our case will be paths paths and click ok and what you have to do here is just say external file paths the name will be videos since we are saving videos and the path uh, should match the external directory which you set here so in our case it's movies so make sure this is movies here and basically that's all you have to do so come here and so this error is because we haven't closed this tag with the provider and i think that's all you have to do so let's run the app and see what we have so the app has finally run so let's record a video so it takes us to the inbuilt camera and if we click record video here as you can see it starts recording so i'm using an emulator here but you can use your physical device it will act the same so if we pause the video and we can also play back the video and see if it's what we want so as you can see it's there if we return back we can either retry recording the video and also return back with this video as you can see it's a success it has recorded successfully and yeah basically that's all you you have to do to record a video and for you to play the video it's quite simple so let's navigate back and see how we can play this video so for you to play a video you have to create an intent to view this video in the inbuilt video player of the phone and it's quite simple so let's come back to our file utils and we want to create an extension function that will take in the video uri and the context so just come here and say uri dot open video player so the video player that is in the phone and it will take in the context then after that we want to create an intent that will play the video for you to create an intent to play the video you have to use intent import it and just say action so come here and say intent dot action view it should be in capital action view so this will allow you to play the video and for the phone to know that it's an intent to play the video you have to set the data and the type so the data is the video you arrived that is supposed to be played in the video player and the type is what type of uh, view do you want to play or view so just come here and say set data type and pass in the video you arrive first and for the phone to know that it's a video you have to put this as video slash that then for this to be granted for you to read uh, the uri since uh, we are reading the uri we have to get the permission first so for you to do that you have to set a flag here to grant the permission so just come here and say intent dot flag grant uri permission grant read and so grant read uri permission so for us to read the uri of the video file cool and after that we can start the intent to play the video so just come here and say try and yes yeah, so try so just quickly try and a catch here so the reason i'm putting this uh, start activity in a try and catch is because you might find that in some phones they don't have an intent to play a video player so you have to handle also that edge case because if you don't handle it it will crash so come here and use the context and start this intent to play the video in the inbuilt video player of the phone in case there is um, no intent to play the video we can just show the user that uh, they don't have the ability to play this video in their phone so just pass in the context and just say no video player 
pound and the toast length will be short and end with show and yeah that's all you have to do to so come back to your main activity and the first thing you have to do is um you have to make sure that uh when the button is clicked to play the video you want to call this extension function to play the video and since this is an extension function pass in the video uri so for just um making sure that the video has been recorded just say if video uri is not equal to null so in case it's not not equal to null that's where we want to play the video so just come here and say video uri dot open video player and pass in the context since we are in a main activity just say this at main activity and that's all you have to do to navigate to the video player and play the video else if the video is not there or it has not been recorded just show a message to the user that they don't have any video recorded yet so pass in the context which is main activity the text is no video recorded yet and yeah the toast is that and yeah remove these arguments is they don't apply here and basically that's all you have to do you for we forgot else here yeah so basically that's all you have to do so let's run the app and see what we have okay so the app has finally run so let's try and record a video here so we are recording a video as you can see and if you stop recording we can click and navigate back and as you can see in the toast has recorded successfully the moment of truth is here so let's play the video and as you can see it's playing the video so yeah so that's it that's all you have to do to be able to record a video and play a video using the inbuilt uh, camera of the phone and also play the video using the inbuilt video player so that's it thank you for watching if you like this video please like it share and also so if you want uh, this type of content, please subscribe and you'll be notified in the future. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful week ahead.